starting this video in the exact spot where an accident occurred based on hydroplaning. I want to talk about hydroplaning. Uh, right here in this very spot, I was talking about the dangers of performance tires in rain and a vehicle behind me lost control and crashed. Here's that video if you didn't see it. Be careful when you're driving in um, wet conditions, especially when it's pouring out. Right now it's fine. Oh, whoa, whoa, major accident behind me. So why do I want to talk about hydroplaning today and the, and the dangers of um, driving with certain tires in wet conditions? A buddy of ours in the track call community just wrecked his Jeep. Luckily, he's okay. He's got a little uh, abrasion on his arm, but he's completely fine. He walked away from this literally with a scratch, and thank God, all right? I'm going to put a link in the corner of the screen and at the end of this video so you can go and listen to his own words of what happened. But man, when I'm watching it and I'm thinking about what was going through his mind and how it went down, it's freaking scary, okay? Luckily, he's okay, though. But I want to talk to everybody about this because it is dangerous with certain tires. He was running a, a set of welds with Mickey Thompson, some drag radials on there. He was on his way to a... Uh, uh, car meet, okay? He's been in wet conditions before. He knows that it's slippery. Um, he was going under the speed limit. He was doing everything he could. But in a construction zone, fresh concrete, uh, fresh asphalt, in his own words, it was as slippery as ice. He broke loose a few times, slowed down even more, and then going like forget if he said like it was uh, 50 or something. 50 is still fast for those tires in the rain or a wet condition. He just hydroplaned. Now, he let the vehicle snap around and then gave a little bit of break when he was facing forward and he recovered. So he started out, I believe he says, in the left lane and he recovers all the way over. But guess what? After his recovery, there was an unfortunate tractor trailer in the um, slow lane that just could not stop in time. Smashed into the rear of his vehicle, then basically that broke uh, the tie rod on the truck and he says it, it like hooked up on the side of his hawk and just drug him down the jersey barrier. Whew, just even talking about it, man, it's like... So, his vehicle's probably uh, total, all right? But I want you to go over and support him. Please like and subscribe to all his videos. Help the guy out. Um, grow his channel so, you know, this will help him out big time, all right? It's uh, F&A Speed. I have a link to his actual video at the end. But please do me a favor. If you follow me, go over, uh, like some of his videos, and also just subscribe to him. Help him out, all right? This is a this is a dangerous type of situation when you're driving with drag radials on a wet condition. So please, if you're out and about or you're thinking about going somewhere and you have that type of setup on your vehicle, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, another in incident recently happened. Those of you guys and girls in the uh, Mopar community that follow Shaker Girl. Approaching a railroad crossing. Okay, thank you for that. Approaching a railroad crossing. Thanks, Waze. Um, if you follow Shaker Girl, uh, this is what happened to her. She was on 315s. She had one in her, in her yellow scat pack. And she was going ridiculously slow. Hit a thin layer of water. Okay? Thin layer of water. And I'm going to screen capture and show you now in the corner of the screen what happened to her. Because it was recorded. And how fast, how slow she was going, number one, and how, how fast it happened. Check this out. So, 
even with you, when you have regular tires on there, if the tread wear is down or, um, you know, uh, the wider the tire, it's almost like you're, you're putting ice skates on, you know? I've experienced this type of uh, reaction in my own vehicle. Elena has heard me bitch numerous times about not going somewhere on the highway if it's going to rain, it's going to be raining a lot. I don't want to take this vehicle. Um, my tread is good. These tires handle okay, but it's that, you know, that, eh, okay, they're not all season tires. These are uh, summer, they're performance tires. I believe they're not all season, but wait, there's medium wear or about 50% wear on them. And I've had a couple instances where I've skipped side to side on them, and, and I'll tell you what, you can get you can get banged up real real easily. Just as a warning, as a precaution, if you're running this type of setup and you're going somewhere or planning on going somewhere, make sure you check the weather. Okay. Uh, I really hope he gets this recovered quickly. I you'll have to watch the video, but I'm paraphrasing. I don't think he's going to put another track hawk on the tra channel. I think he's going to go with something else, but he has a couple other nice cars. He loves the race. Uh, good dude. I love his content. Um, he should have thousands and thousands of subscribers by now. Um, his editing is better than mine, and he's only been at it for a fraction of time. But then again, not many. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> so uh, do me a favor, please. All right. There's a link. Head on over there. Show him some love. Uh, from the Jeep world, and um, again, just be careful out there. All right, everyone, that's my little PSA, and uh, shout out to FNA Speed. Hopefully, he's he's gets this all cleared up. Um, he hasn't found out yet if the vehicle is totaled. It might not be. Hope maybe it's, maybe it's just a lot of cosmetic, and uh, the insurance company is going to fix it up because it's just the one side. I mean, it looks bad, but if the frame is not banged up and who knows? You know, nowadays it seems like they love to write everything off and just call it a loss. All right, that's all I got. Before you go, hit the like button, hit the little bell notification down here, click subscribe, go check out his channel, show him some love. That's all I got for you guys and girls today. I'm out.